Uh, good evening, everybody. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back again with another live show on the channel. Yes, it is preview for our game on Saturday. Are we down to Craven Cottage? And of course, I am down there for a second time this season. So, yes, Mason, are we looking forward to the game? Aye. Yeah. Good. Anyway, guys, you know the drill. If you enjoyed tonight's show, remember to hit the thumbs up. It keeps us up those search results. Please, of course, if you're brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you really, really enjoy what goes on the channel week in, week out, hit that subscribe button free to do so. It does help me the channel grow. And, of course, that bell notification that will let you know whenever we are live or when a pre-recorded video takes place on the day as well. Feel free to donate if you'd like to do so. And if you want to become a member for just 99p, hit the join button to do so. And if you put to the next prize draw we do on the channel, we'll dive into a few comments that have come in so far. Hey, good evening, Andrew. Hope you're well. Yep, yeah. evening, B. I hope you're well. Lawrence looking sharp, Pete. Yeah, I've had the thingy uh, chopped. Poor can't do it. No, he didn't. So you can kiss my ass, Mason. And uh, good evening, <laughs> you did. He's still in Vanning, though. You're too, Mason. Anyways, let's get into the game show. Uh, can we win on? Can we? We've got a good record down at Creative and Cottages of Lake. Can we look to go and win down there again? Hopefully. Mm -hmm. And I'll go up on Tuesday night by Forest, but hopefully we'll um, try and put more misery on the Fulham's, Fulham's perspective because they haven't had a great the Basically, they haven't had a decent run of results lately. Obviously, Drew with Sheffield United, and obviously, they um, got beat off in the forest on Tuesday night. Yep, absolutely and did. And they've got the playoffs. Yep, I mean, it's not going to be an easy game for us in a way, considering who we who we're missing at the moment. But the good news is, we've got Anthony going back for this game. We do. Um, it was a bit, and we did miss going a bit on Tuesday night. Um, but the fact is, as well, we'll have him back um, mm -hmm. at the right time as well, because you've obviously you've seen Fulham's recent results. Um, yeah, it's good to have him back at, at the right time as well, because we're Fulham um, not playing particularly well well in the last two games. No, they haven't, but I think their home record is not bad as of late as well. Let me course. change on Saturday. Let me change on Saturday. Well, we'll see. Of course, he did beat Spurs 3 0. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it, did I? Busted. There you are. Yeah, uh, good evening, you. Colin. He says, Nice to meet you, Mason, for the first time on Tuesday. Hi, good evening, was. Paul. Good evening, Julie. Good evening, Ian, as well. I mean, Colin, I only stayed back because for the um, because fan let the bus, no, just to let the buses die, do let the bus die. I let the crowd play. But the defense is probably going to stay the same, Mason. Um, I want to see long stuff taken out the midfield. I think it really will. Um, but probably. This question is whether Trippy I might start and sat up, maybe in the squad and sat no, up. No, I think yeah. Trippy's out for further three weeks. Oh, my God. That was according to Craig Hope. But it all depends what happens in training. Um, but the fact is, as well, I don't know. Would Craft need to play a bit better? Um, he needs to start opening his game enough. This is opportunity because Trippy and Livermento are out at the moment. And I had that spare when he was really good on the hill, but I don't know what's happened, whether whether it's been with the injuries or he hasn't played in the ages and obviously been on the bench constantly with Flossman. And now with Flossman Keo, but it's his time to step up whilst Tino and Trippi is, is out for the, um, uh, out for the for a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dan Burn playing in his correct position, hopefully he does well there again. I need I want to see improvement on Fabian Chess passing because it's been a little bit all over the place at times for me. 
But all it's another great opportunity for him to start the game as well, which is probably looks it's going to happen again by the looks of it. After it now for fatigueness, long stuff. I want to see taken out the side because I don't want to see more poor performances, and we're fed up with them already. So I would it'd be great to see a midfield three of Bruno, Willick, and Anderson. I feel like we need to have a bit more of an attack in the field. Um, it, it just, I think we need it. Um, but you know, when I want to happen, and we we'll see how we we'll play against Fulham. Yeah, good evening, Predator. Hope you're well. You're doing well. You're well as well, Paul. Just running for these a uh, few comments. As uh, people just want to the chat, see me. I like to see log stuff playing for somebody else, don't we all? Uh, Ronald says Mason will be out of the moon. No. That Mark Williams is currently hammering oh. Judd Trump, apparently. I do not know. I'm not I do not, not know, to be honest. I do not know who they are, but the only two I know is few I know, particularly Doby and that little, little man cunt. cunt. No, I don't want to little man cunt. Little uh, beaten says Martin. Attacking up, why is it be interesting, Mason? Because we see God's going to come straight back in the side. We know he is. But do we keep, are we going to put Barnes back on the bench? Or do you think he could go going on the right and Barnes on the left? I feel like you'll put Barnes on the left and go on the way because. Ooh, interesting. With the way with the way the people uh, Barnes has been playing for the last two games, he, why do we need to drop him? With the, with the, with the way he's playing, mm-hmm. Fair enough, yeah, Eddie could look well to do that. Maybe give Murphy just a little bit of a thingy, because Gordon's going to be in that team. He's one of he's our best player. This well, definitely one of the best players this season, no doubt about that. And we know he'll be up front through the middle as well. Which, by the way, Isak has been given seller player of the month for March. And is in contention, possibly for player, and has been well, be nominated for possibly player of the month for November as well. Sorry, but not for November, March. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, it. some of the players who have been nominated for the Premier League man to player of the month, mm-hmm. surely he's got to win that. Fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rough deed, Ben Benicien says good evening. All share Sputin has not been has been good. Miss Bonds and Acres of space twice in his first off as long stuff did. What, uh, white in for long stuff as our right was weak v Everton full and we see this. Yep, absolutely. Oh, so uh, he wants to see Joe White play. Wow, I don't think he will, but if he came on at some point in the game, that would be good. Yeah, that starts not to get going on a right to, to strengthen Arthur. it and give Murphy oh. a rest. Oh, poor does. We've got a John Green says, Hi, guys, hope you're well, uh, John. Well, the regulars on the, on the team of you. Absolutely. But yeah, it's a very interesting game. If we get another three, if we get a three points down there, which was that would be fantastic. I mean, then we pick seven points out of uh, nine now from the last three games before we go on to Spurs. A week on Saturday where that's going to be almighty challenging and really, really will be. So, yep. But... Well, hopefully we get three points on Saturday. That'd be good. It's not going to be an easy place. It really, really isn't. But I don't think Fulham have been as bad as the home as of late. So, yeah. Uh, BS says, I watch Volendam v. This is fine. No, it's name. Minty was god awful. Subbed off on his, his left foot. Mm. Robert says, What did you think about Lewis Hall against Everton? Played very well. And he'll start on Saturday again. No doubt about that. No, certainly did. Very oh, yeah, yeah. Chris is channel the day. Fuck me, man. You're a funny cunt, you like. <laughs> I've not seen it, so uh, yeah. But um yeah, apparently Mason's got no thieves because apparently it doesn't look like Fulham have got any injuries. They've got a funny fit squad. <sighs> It'll be after it'll just let you know it'll be back for Tottenham because I feel like Tottenham do have a few injuries, so we will we'll, we'll be back then. I love these 
Premier League new rules will be voted through. Fuck we can spend off, one yeah, million. I'm not the mighty just, Bennett. It's ye. And and ye. Just pay the fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mason, what do we make of the new Power League rules that are coming out in regards to, well, FFP? Um, it's good in a way because we can spend how much we want, but it would be disappointing for Everton and Forest because... Well, disappointed... there's enough people not fussed about Everton, unfortunately, but Forest, they can understand. Aye. But, because yeah, it does sound just, really... Uh, it does sound a lot more promising. Because they've just had the um, deduction two weeks ago and... Um, They'll be disappointed, but, but regards to Everton, they've got another one coming. Um, which, yep, apparently, apparently it's true and all. Um, because uh, I've, I've seen it on Sky Sports this afternoon saying that, um, there's another point deduction on the court, on the court, but they just need to verify how much, how many points they're going to get, mm. and um, but I, it's it'd be good for like a for like. Us in, in in particular, but just but us and Villa and all because they've they've spent a lot of cut they 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 us and Brighton are the ones who have been spending not particularly Brighton but us and Villa what are wanting to spend the money but we've got but we've um they like have have had them um, been to like, be cautious because of um FFP but you see in Villa's um financial report a few weeks ago and but the fact is their owners are that wealth wealthy they'll still spend it in the summer because of the money yeah but the fact is, but the fact is they'll be pleased because they'll want to spend the money what what they do have and obviously the caliber players have got and obviously the caliber players in Newcastle want and all because we'll be want whoever was in charge of the DOF Hopefully, it'll be Mal- Maldini because he'll have them links. Obviously, when we're, we're fine, he's got AC Milan, but um, obviously, that didn't go do, down too well with Tenali. But I don't know if it, it'd be, it'd be interesting, it'd be interesting to see what will happen. Because if we get personally, I would take Eva Maldino, um, Paul Watson. Um, but if we if we ever get one of them, too, I'll be. Pretty happy because they'll bring in decent players for in the summer. Yep, and obviously with uh, Maldini, he's got that connection with um, um, Milan, which have got de- some decent players. Yeah, totally, totally. You're the mighty pin, Mason. Hull played well. Oh, also got yeah, stuck in, also got, got, got stuck in physically as well against Everton. Absolutely. Hopefully, these new rules are put in place. That snowfest of a January transfer window has to have been a wake up call for the Premier League. Saudis can just pay the fine if we breach. Absolutely. New rules may encourage more takeovers of non big six clubs leveling up the league if the new owner spend. The man you fans crying about the luxury tax is hilarious. Plastic fuckers, says Ronald. Uh, 17 clubs are going to vote these new rules through. That means it will pass. Yep, I heard that's many clubs are apparently going to vote in for these new rules. I'm sure, Who is the ref? Sure, oh. I'm sure Billy said um, just not long ago on, he's on the show what they've done tonight. Yep. Saying about Brighton and again, Brighton, um, when uh, they were against it because. That doesn't affect them because they'll they'll sign on the cheap, and they'll sell for like big big m- massive fees. Obviously, you've seen like Caicedo, uh, Cucurella, McAllister. They they'll they'll be against it because that doesn't they that doesn't apply to them because mm-hmm. they follow the rules because they because they because they'll just buy on the cheap, which is. Pretty ex- excellent, decent business, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Could well do. Lawrence has also like seen a Liverpool fan cry that if the changes come in, it'll be the end of football for him because of us in Man City being able to spend 500 million only get a 5 million fine. It'll be like the 90 spend freely. These new rules bail Chelsea out massively, but could be stubborn and but Everton could be stubborn and vote against it. Well, maybe. But Everton are in massive trouble anyway. Who is the ref? 
Oh, the referee's called Sam. Somebody again. I've forgotten his Allison. name. Sam Allison. Uh, on VR is Jarrod Gillett and all that. I mean, he's refereeing the Man United game, which I've got on now. He's doing a Chelsea Man United game. Mm. Just believe it or not, not Man United, and then he went running up and all. So, Anthony. Interesting. Yeah, Julie says it's Sam Allison, the referee. Bright made 112 million profit. Three clubs reported it as Man U, Arsenal, Liverpool. All have money issues behind the seas. Well, they probably would get a vote against it, no doubt about that. Well, well, the fact is, Brighton, Brighton do it. Nobody complains about Brighton because they do it because they're probably the best run club of football. A few, a few of the uh, well, Premier League. One nil Chelsea. Oh, on a Gallagher. But is it at Chelsea? Aye. Yeah, let's have, well, Brian, 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 you've, you've, you've just jinxed this. You'll love me. Yeah, and so you see, put that in. Chelsea going to score. Sam Allison's a former Bournemouth player, maybe a friend of Eddie. Oh. That Aussie prick of shite, Gerard Gillett, he's on VR this Saturday. So oof. we're going to have to be ready for that. I should have brought this up um, earlier on. They did let um, Vinicius go to Galatasaray until the end of the season. And they've obviously. Oh, interesting. And they've brought in Broja. They did, and they've got Broja until the end of the season from Chelsea. That's the only business they did in January. Mm. Fair enough. Hope so, Julie says Ian as well. Because when we get, to, we just want to see when we need to go. When we go up, goal or Mason, we need to start looking for that second. Unfortunately, now we do. Um, Fulham, Fulham have been hit and miss recently, and um, we just need to try and get a decent positive result going into the Tottenham game. Uh, week Saturday, which is in our half twelve kickoff. Um, mm -hmm. So far, we've got so far we've uh, managed to win a half twelve kickoff for one sport. It'll be a to uh, we'll, oh, sometimes half the time we we'll go into the Tottenham ga Tottenham games full of confidence, <laughs> but we, we, we did beat them. Yeah, we know about that. Um, we did beat them, obviously. Well documented, we did beat them six one last season, which they were they were at the lowest point, obviously. But with Pastor Cockle coming in, and now Ian, Ian, Ian will probably hate us for this. But what a job he's doing at Tottenham, like. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, BS feel hopeful, and I think we'll bat Fulham four one. Ooh. You know what it is with that with the uh, result result that we're on, with the way they've been playing. Um. I feel like we will. Well, you never know. I mean, let's look at the last. What we'll do is we'll look at what home the last the home form as of late because it's. I don't think it's been that bad, or it's been quite good. Right. So, the last home game, of course, was Spurs actually, which he did win three one. They did beat Brighton three 0 as well at the beginning of last month. Um, they did lose 2-1 to Villa. They also did beat Bournemouth 3-1 as well. Um, they have drawn against Everton. No, they did draw against... No, no, it was, a, it was in the, the cup that won against Singy. So I don't think the home form has been that as bad as of late. It was a big shock to me beating Tottenham League. Like. With the way Tottenham have been playing this season, that came as a shock. That came as a shock for me, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. who scored for Tottenham? I'm sure Madison scored for Tottenham, didn't he? When was that one? Eh, uh, top Fulham. No, it was the Fulham one three nil. No, I'm sure Madison scored for Fulham. I mean, not Fulham, Tottenham. Oh, when they got he? beat, I'm sure Madison scored. I can't remember him scoring. No, I think he had a chance, but he just missed it. I'm sure he scored. I'm sure he scored. 
or uh, when we're up to, we need to score at least two because we can't keep a clean sheet. Yep. That racist jibe, but Cody Gallagher not slapping that kin's head was pathetic when he had his hand on his shoulder on the pitch. Oh, Nana, oh, Nana what's my name? Says Brian. I'm going to be a mission, everyone. I hope you all keep it. If Dummett starts on Saturday, we'll get beat 3 0. I don't think Dummett will start this Saturday. Be interesting to see what happens. Nearly two, nearly two nil Chelsea. Oh, Mikhail Mudrick says nearly made a two nil. And Andrew going for a seven nil wins, as he always says, pretty much. Of course, yeah, but I think majority could be the same team. Well, Gorn's going to be come back, but who's he going to come in for? Is it going to be Murphy or Barnes? It's going to be Murphy. interesting. Could well be, you never know. If he does that, definitely wouldn't be really that bad, I would say. Uh, Ruffy Bernissian's going for one nil the tune. Hold to man of the match, says Bia. Hopefully, yeah. That would be great. He's going to play on Saturday. No doubt he is. That's the thing. He will. Most certainly he will. Yeah, he's definitely going to play again on Saturday. Even again, just welcome each other into the live chat. Great show. Evening. Great show as always. Chess Pete. So, we need to just get at Fulham. Oh, but yeah, when I was watching that show earlier on with Chris, I was at the gym. So it couldn't, <laughs> it couldn't, it couldn't beat me. Oh, well, there you are. Um, so we just need to get right at Fulham. That's what we need to do. Just get at them. And you never know what could happen. The fact is, basically, we trounced this team last season. We'll beat them at we'll beat them at home one nil now. Yeah. Um, so our record is really good as of late against Fulham at the moment. Oh Ronald, real four. Oh, he thinks we'll win three nil. Longstaff will get a hat trick. <laughs> Although Longstaff has scored in the last two games at Craven Cottage, FA Cup, and of course when we beat them four one. Mason, it's not me, he, it's he you. Apparently, going to pay Prince. Oh, Andrew God, is he actually? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sinclair's going down then, hoping I'm going oh, to get to see him. No, Brian, I hope you're taking the piss there. Like, not protesting too much, Mason, says Ian. <laughs> Brian, I hope, you're, I hope you're kidding. I hope you're joking on there. Like, God, please, no. I really hope you. Anyways, his team's getting beat of Chelsea. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to get back to there for a second time. And it looks like I am down on the front row again. So, yeah, that camera could well be panned on me during the game. So, yes, I better keep an eye out for it. Yep. And, of course, the last time I was there, War Big Al was down there as well. That's, it'll be a pack out for a wear end at St. James, uh, sorry, at Craven Cottage in terms of the away section. So, but... We definitely have to get rid of the Deadwood for the summer. Sign in here, the new rules for spending this season looks better for us now. Yeah, we have to get rid of this dead wood come the end of the season. I really, really hope we do. I agree with you, yeah. Mm -hmm. well. But uh, this new rules is definitely going to be interesting. Uh, you beat the Barbers, Pete. Absolutely, I have, Brian. No, go, no, go on, came up from uh, no, he hasn't, Mason. No, he hasn't. <laughs> he came up from Nottingham to Saturday. He's on his way back doing it. 
Oh, oh Billy. Billy Van. No, Jesus, Billy. Uh, no. Definitely not. If you are dead, do it. Do it. Uh, no, do if it. you want me to be kicked out the ground and have my season <laughs> taken... Bloke Ox- take- that bloke at Oxford didn't. No, but it's called common sense. No way. I will have the binoculars trained on the crowd, Pete says Ian. Well, <laughs> fair enough, Ian. <laughs> So, but yeah, I just want to see us put performance down there. If we get a goal, we go for the next one. I don't, we don't want to let Fulham back in this game. So, Ronald says, Does the cameraman for the camera person fancy you, Pete? It, well, it, I just been getting spotted on TV whenever I've been if been at the games, whether it's been home or away. So Yeah, that's you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, that is you. Come on, you swans. That's yeah, that. Oh, he would put that. That's be yeah, that. Oh, that's I was Swansea yeah. playing this weekend. Smogs. Oh, you were thinking of going, weren't you? I'm not going now with change on streak. Oh, with no yeah, so it's a change for Gateshead. Aye. Change on streaks are not bothering. Oh, some. Oh, he says you're always accusing me. It might not be via. Brian, please. Uh, Brian, no way, no chance. <laughs> uh, you can absolutely no way. Oh, well, who was who is this mighty bin? We would like to know who it is. Yeah. Because hmm. he was on Chris's show, so it's definitely him. Are you craving a cottage in? No. <laughs> Please. But yeah, just a, be great to get down there. Hopefully, we get three points. And just come away with, I mean, we could do with those points to keep us up in those places. Last time I went to Palmer's, Pete said he would rather, he said, would you rather like cut round the back? I said, I'd rather have a cut in there. Hey, I just thought it was, it needed to be figured. It was just all over the place. So there you go. So that's why I decided to go to school and get it figured. So, <laughs> yep. And again, save people. Going down there again, hopefully those who are travelling on Saturday, it's not going to be too much of Jackson's bottled us. Hmm. One, one on one, one on her. Oh, he's terrible. Uh, yeah, safe to all travelling, getting down there, particularly on the Saturday if you are going by train as well, hopefully. Uh, there's not going to be too much uh, disruption. Of course, we know there's an industrial action taking place as well. So, Jesus P, you're doing the windmill on camera on TV? Uh, no way. <laughs> Look what Billy started. He wants <laughs> to flip. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no God. Way. Ronald. Sorry, guys. Show's off tomorrow, I'm afraid. How many people are keen to it now? How many? Come on. Uh, Mason, this is a preview show. We can still do it, you know, since it's not in the morning. Oh, Jesus, man. Anyway. Yep, so we, as I mentioned, Fulham have a pretty much a fully fit squad tomorrow. Well, we've got a lot of players who injured, unfortunately. So, uh, but I can't, I don't see why we still should have enough to beat them, in my opinion. Hopefully, we do. Hopefully, we should. Briefly, we should. I mean, the players that I can see a threat for them pretty much. Um, is. Yeah, I think he's a really good player. If can you hear me, you know. Yeah, uh, that Moon is. Uh, Pereira's not a bad player. Uh, a Warby. Oh. Moon is be what, the one because he's been on the phone for them recently. Oh, for mm. sake, yeah. oh God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Penalty, Chelsea. Chelsea's got a penalty. Oh, so they can get two up. <laughs> and he's just fell quickly well on the box. Mm. So it's pe- Chelsea have a penalty. Oh wow! 
What a shape that Anthony is like. Fucking hell. I can so push. Anyway, should we get into the lineup then? I go on. Go on and kick it off, Mason, and goal. It's easy one. Dubravka. Yep. Hopefully, Dubravka needs to stop becoming up a little bit more quicker in terms of his distribution and all of that. So, yeah. Okay, and at right back, it'll be Mr. Emil Kraft. Hopefully, he needs to up this performance because it's his opportunity now to see what he can do. So, Emil Kraft in there, definitely. The boiled egg of a manager is getting sacked. I call for my state in the penalty. Interesting. I, okay. I have it. Okay, we'll, go, we'll go, let, get, get, let you go through this penalty first, then. Ah, it's been taken now. Hmm? Ah, it's again been taken. It was taken by the uh, whole farm. Has, like, whole farm was taken. We can, do it. we can do it if you want to. Go on, now, if you listen to this penalty but first, see if Chelsea can two ah. up on them. Maybe. Right. Two nil. Hey, there you go. Okay, set up first, set up back position, Mason. Um, Burn. Oh, yeah, fair enough. So you're going for Mr. Burn, and then the left set up back, and the other position, of course, will be Mr. Fabian Chair. His passing needs to be a lot more better because it's not been good as of late. So hopefully, he can improve it on that. But hopefully, Big Burn can do a job of keeping there. Uh, Fulham at B as well because he was outstanding against Everton. Okay, and Mason in at left back. No score. Cool. There you go. Yes, be great to see him back in the side on Saturday. So let's see what he can do as well. Okay, in the midfield, first one in there, Mr. Bruno, key player for us. And we need him in that side. We really, really need him in that side. Still managing to avoid that tenth yellow call, which is great. So I don't think it's got long to before that the cutoff point arrives for that. Next one in midfield, Mason. Willick. Oh, are we going for Willick? Uh, Interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to have this as the last one. Please take Sean Longstaff out of the team. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Attack of three is going to be interesting. Go well, on, Mason, take the right-hand side. Gordon. Oh, so we're putting Gordon there this time, are we? No. Interesting. On the left-hand side, go on, we'll go with this man then, Mr. Harvey Barnes. And the last diving one... Diving Portuguese twat, fuck off. Go on, oh. you diving, cheating bastard. Go on, fuck off. Who's this, like? Bruno Fernandes. Has he been diving? No. Did he win a free kick? No, he's up straight away. Fucking Portuguese goofy faggot. I don't like me. I don't like him as well. Last run up front through the middle, Mason. <laughs> Nearly 3 0, you know. It's not even half an hour in, man. Uh, Isaac. There you go. Isaac up front through the middle. Uh, Piggy's goal mental over Chelsea's pen. Need to win Saturday's Chelsea if they win the game in hand could go above us if they win tonight. Well, we've got a game in hand as well, haven't we? Palace. Well, we've got a game in hand on Palace and all that. Well, no, Chelsea do have a game in hand still, I believe. Radcliffe's we could be steaming. <laughs> Mason wants Peter Pinch to me, Sean to the sheep for some reason. We do really want Chelsea to win, surely. Funny though it is. It's yep. funny though. Well, even Julie's just said it as well. Piggy smashing the studio again. Two more games for Bruno to get the cutoff point. Longstaff left back in the changing room. A great rather than lose, but Ganon Palmon if PL, which is after Sean Longstaff face hat trick. Frustrating that Chelsea looked like they'd be just a point behind us, but suppose we are getting closer to Man United. Dorian in Portuguese try to this like he said it's Bruno Fernandes. If Bruno no, gets you said, you said who was that. We you know exactly who it is. <laughs> Yes, Bruno, Bruno Fernandes. You didn't say that at first. We know who's Portuguese who plays for Man United. Yep. If Bruno gets a yellow side, it makes sense for him to get a 
second year at the end, so he means he only gets a one year rather than two. Maybe expect a handball or kick the ball away in near the end. Chelsea have a game in hand on us. Yes, they do. But yeah. Well, that we're going to run through the lineup again. So in goal, Martin Dubravka, back four of Emil Kraft, Fabian Chair, Dan Byrne, Lewis Hall, and midfield three of Bruno Gimaraish. We're going with Joe Willock and we're going with Anderson. We're going to hope that Longstaff gets taken out of the team. We're going for an attack and three of Anthony Gordon, Harvey Barnes, and Alexander Isak up front. Let us know in the live chat if Eddie is going to go with that. If he's not, who else would he go with instead? Will he still persist with Longstaff? Some people probably think he might still, but I think Eddie needs to say sense. Oh, uh, be a man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. And Bia thinks he'll play long stuff 100%. Take him out the team, man. He's not been good enough. He's poor. He's really poor at the moment. And uh, do we really want to see Paul Dummer being brung on again? Oh. I really hope not. You know, Julie laughing at that. <laughs> hey, Jesus. So remember to get your score predictions. Oh, I haven't got mine in yet, actually. So, okay. What am I going to go with? I'm actually going to go this one. Ooh, interesting, Mason. Poffy, you've got your castle and Fulham the other way around because we're all way. Yeah. He drove the bus all the way to Lisbon and made a love to him after bribing her with a 32k TV and some shit. Oh, Jesus. Good grief. But, yeah, as I mentioned, I am down there tomorrow on Saturday, traveling the night before. So, yeah, I just want to see another good performance. I just Well, I just want to see a good performance, get a win down there. Hopefully we will. Um, Lawrence says, hopefully we'll have Target back on the bench. Soon is an option at left by. He looks sort of like a Cliff Richard trip in Sun Valley. He's going for a 2-1 win. Very interesting. So, funny team, uh, Fulham all. We know they are, really. Fulham have won 11, but they've lost 14 games. But um, they're normally poor away from them, but they're really not a bad team at all, man, they are they. Paul, bad about the stewards, said to Paul the other night, she was well out of order, she won second when I was a steward, I was giving people respected, tell them they needed, yeah, I'm still disgusted with what happened as well, uh, again. Um, Paul's still waiting to hear back from the club and hopefully he is back soon because that needs sorting out immediately because that was not right at all and hopefully yeah. the club have got to contact him surely enough because that was that wasn't that was just not that was not on that absolutely not on at all yeah, on the buses here yeah. I think you could easily get injured again by the end of the season but Keith Downey also mentioned Wilson being back on the grass Wilson I can't see back for the Saturday not yet no yeah, but if it's good, we're saying he's on the grass, okay then. Interesting, hopefully. I love that show, says, uh, oh, yes, on the bus, carry on the buses. I'm just gonna say, man, you're yeah, back to their normal selves now. Shit, yep. Well, as Chelsea... Wilson has played Rosin in the semi final of the snooker and the wall, interesting. Surprisingly, Chelsea have been a much better side. But if they're 2 0 up, what's that say? And Gover just saying that wasn't a penalty. Fucking mm. hell, man. What? Oh, something uh, interesting uh, thing you up against Ronnie O'Sullivan and the snooker. I haven't caught up with the snookers of late for ages. 
Just really haven't caught up with the snooker thingy for ages. So, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, man. Oh, Natty. What? Natty, 3 0. Oh, is it the thingy derby on Saturday? Oh, where's it at? My boss. Well, you've got to win this, Ian, if you're thinking with that SPL. Where, who's top of the SPL at the moment? I've not checked their thingies as well. Still sell it by a point, but Rangers have a game in hand. That's the thing. The rush to Nottingham down the A1. So, some big games this weekend in terms of the Glasgow Derby or the Old Firm. Because I normally watch that game, but um, I'm down at the thingy. I'm down in the capital, unfortunately. So, yeah. But, yeah, can we win down at Craven Cottage? Let us know, guys. We've got a good record uh, there as of late. I think we've won the last four times there, I believe. Well, quite a few times. So we've won. Of course, we beat them 2 0 in the FA Cup this uh, this year, in, back in January. We did beat them 4 1 last season. Um, we beat them on the final of the 2020 21 season 2 0. Um, of course, we did beat them 4 0 away. In the twenty nine, uh, in the tw in the twenty eighty nineteen season, for uh, under Rafa's last season as well. So, yep. So yes, a record down there is, be is really good as of late. So Honestly, man, the last man, time I think, me, man. I think the last time we lost to Craven Cottage was back in the championship. It was when Max Smith scored a winner. Yep. So I'm pretty sure that was the last time we lost to Fulham. Uh, Matt Smith. Matt Smith scored a winner just before half time. Luckily enough, just before half time as well. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, hopefully we'll just get another win, keep the record going uh, down there as well. So it'd be great. Chelsea could Chelsea could easily be be four five and up your league. Four. That's how bad mine ended up being. Remember again, those haven't, haven't got your score predictions, get them in. And of course, you predicted lineup for Saturday as well. Be interested to know what yours will be. And it looks like I believe we'll be when there's a way kit down there like we did back in uh, the FA Cup game. Uh, yes, he did do a sort of the double in the championship as well. But did I? Else to be as tight as and snickers. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with Ellie. I really am not. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, fucking Ronald. Good God. Oh. 1-0 to the tune, says Ruffy Bernissian. Hopefully. we just like a win down there. That's what we could do with. So, yeah. <laughs> just want to see a good performance down there. And a win. And just get three points to keep us up. Challenging up for the European places come the end of the, of the season as well. So... Uh, Beer's going for a 4 1 win and he's going for this as his lineup. He thinks it'll be Debravka, Kraft, Share, Ben Hall, Anderson, Bruno, Longstaff, Gordon Murphy, and Isak. So he thinks Bond will be reverted back to the bench. He'll think Longstaff will keep his place. Love that episode, Father Ted. It's quite funny, I've got to admit. So.
yeah, five, five to ten minutes until we wrap up the show. And again, we'll get the score predictions in as well. And we'll let you know what's coming up on the channel throughout the rest of the week as well. So, yeah, I am... Um, Interesting game for Saturday. What do you think? What What would you need to? We need to start doing more. Uh, more Mason. Just go more goals. Try and take the chances. Better. Take the chances. Take the chances as well. Oh wait, he's what he doing there? Man, I've got one back. Oh. Oh, Sheffy the Knight have scored at Liverpool. I can not show. Mess up, mess up at the back. Mess up at the back. Can I be on the back. local bench with Mustache and be like the milkman? Lee's going for a 3 0 win. I wonder who equalised for Sheffy the United. I can see no bottled it. Can see no made a mistake. Again, he will pick up Dub Hall, Cher, Burn, Kraft, Bruno, Anderson, Longstaff, Barnes, Isak, Gordon. I mean, let's, you never know what you could do. I mean, oh, I'm a scored. Oh, I'm a scored for Sheffield United. Ooh. Oh, Penny was an own goal by Bradley. Ooh. Yes, I mean, two interesting games on tonight. But, yep. Yeah. It's been changed to the body on board. Oh, well, then there you are then. Looking all yeah, the new fan zones up to now. Ooh, interesting. Oh, this looks like it is starting to really come on. Because I'm glad that's getting built as well. But yeah, let us know what do you think of the new FFP rules because as well that came out today, those who haven't yeah, had you see in the chat as well, because yeah, hopefully it's about to be changed, which needs to be changed. BBC Crennan and Gus Halmer for the Sheffield United goal, apparently. Interesting. I hear me. So, yep. Yeah, let's we build, get a goal. We build on that. Hopefully, we will. Fulham, they are a team you get at. We've got a good record against them as of late. Could be good for us, but I bet there are some restrictions. Well, there's going to be no points deduction. That's a thing. Well, there's a tax, apparently. Yeah, there is. But again, the whole PSR needs rid of. The, the one that's occurring in place needs absolutely rid of completely. Because that's what's killing our Premier League football right now. That's one of the reasons why it, Premier League football is not what it is right now, unfortunately. And yeah. Mosella had a hissy fit getting subbed apart. Ooh, wonder what's happened there. Why is he be getting subbed to that early in the game, I wonder? Is he being took off injured or something by the looks of it? Couldn't tell you. Ooh. Very, very interesting, though. Well, that's the case. I think the new rules will be great for us. Can actually spend some money. Yes, we can. That's the good thing. Get rid of Masters the Muppet or in the words of Tony. Nearly free uh, one. Nearly free one. Or, or in the words of uh, Tony, Tricky Dicky. Is what they call uh, Thingy Masters. Chelsea have been all over Man United League. Yeah. Uh, what they call Richard Masters who charge. So, yeah. But, yeah, they need rid of and all the other people who are just screwing this league. Uh, they've now corrected it to Connor Bradley's own goal now. So, 
but that's poor that for uh, Liverpool letting a team bottom who are really bottom of the Premier League table. I wonder why Salah got took off in the game though. Arsenal and Man City fans will be fucking buzzing with us. I mean, Liverpool's next game is away to Man United on the Sunday, so... 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Chelsea and Man United equalise. Aye. Oh. Fucking hell. Bruno Fernandes and Al. By all means, have measures in to prevent another Leeds or Portsmouth situation, but they can't just prevent clubs other than the Greedy Six from breaking into top six on a regular basis, absolutely. And BS says, don't worry, he thinks Liverpool will get a penalty. The tune want to buy me in the summer, says here. Draws the postal to sort goofy prick. I can't stand Bruno Fernandes. Please call him Bruno. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Yeah, Bruno Fernandes, I really can't stand him at all. He's just... No, not for me. Chelsea are shit. Both teams aren't good anyway. Both teams aren't good at all. So, yep. We'd rather keep Man, we'd rather Man United would to keep Chelsea below sport focused on trying to catch West Ham. The fact is, they're not we're not many points by Man United, though. That's the thing as well. Yeah. So we keep getting those points to slowly close the gap. Fucking seven, hell, this is, honestly, this is some game. This like fucking hell. Bia thinks. Do you know what? Bia, I agree with Bia. He says the draw suits us. It does. Wait for my night game. Yep. Mm, that's right, yeah. It's a good point to say it's a draw suits us because, yeah, I think it would really would do. Yeah, definitely. Graven Bitch and Salah so by Elliot and Robinson. I did he wants a draw in Man United as points gap keeps the same. Oh. Maybe that's why Klopp's made those substitutions because they've got Man United away this weekend. Said he, what, you notice, man, you have nicked a few of all chance. Now I haven't noticed it at all. I wonder which one's the nicked, dare I ask. So, hmm. Let's see. Well, we'll get the score prediction in just a moment. And let's I wonder what other people are going for in the chat that haven't gone for theirs yet. So, but yeah, Cream and Cottage, a place we can win, but it's not going to be easy. Full on, on, on bad team at home. Let's hope we should hopefully have enough. And hopefully I just see I see us go down there. When I go down there and I see us just come away with three points after the game, which is what we would absolutely love to have come full time of the game. It looks like we'll wear the green kits. We won that in the FA Cup. Broke the curse then. Can we go and wear that and break the curse in the Premier League? Because we haven't won the game in it yet. So, you know. Oh, apparently Lauren Miedad's at the Stamford Bridge. Wow. Right then, should we go for the score predictions now? We'll start with you, Mason. I know you've, you've got it the other way around, but 3-0. Okay. Uh, he's a twice and going. Hopefully. Oh, interesting. Right, this is mine. Like it was in the FA Cup, I've gone for 2-0 Newcastle. Uh, I'm going to go Isak to get in. Do you know what? I'm going to go Isak for both goals. I'm going to see Isak will get it to both the goals on the day. Hopefully he does. That would be great. So Isak for both goals. Hopefully continues to score on record because he's on a really good run at the moment. And let's vote for him for player of the month for March because I think he deserves it as well. Being outstanding and he could be willing to get 20 goals this season for us as well. So 
two goals for Isak and a 2 will two nil win for us on the night. The rat has equalized yet. Ashraf stayed in the program with Bill and Ben, the flower pot men on his gone duties. My worrying defense is to Bravko. Please, please, better. Yeah. Clean sheet, Pete. Yeah, I've gone for a clean sheet. Have we got a clean sheet down there in the FA Cup? Who says we can't do it then? Again. Also, Murphy's got the Chelsea's been nominated for all interesting as well. Yes, it has actually. So, being a hat trick, log stuff, and Isaac Newcastle wins 7 0. So two outricks from being in Longstaff says singing. I think you just love it because of why Andrew goes for these crazy score lines, but 2 0. I've gone for one Mason's gone for 3 0. Right then, someone we'll start to draw the show to a close now. Of course, there'll be no show tomorrow, unfortunately, guys, because um I travel down to the capital city tomorrow. But Saturday I'll be at the game, so I'll give you my quick thoughts, of course. Uh, the the next day will be the match review and the player ratings when I'm back. Um, as well, so there uh, with me and Mason on the Saturday. There's gonna be no watch along because I think you're at the Gator game, Mason. I am, no problem. So, but of course, I would have been out in eight ways if I had the witness ones again. But of course, you know where to tune into for match day uh, commentary on match day games to ETR to review. To, so that's where a good place to go. Well, definitely the best place to go to tune into them match day live as well so yeah so that's what we got coming up on the show throughout the channel throughout the rest of the week so do keep an eye out for those shows coming but down to a few comments and hopefully in. if it remains as it is Chelsea will be three points behind us with the game in hand with a West goal difference, Man U five points in front of West Ham, one point in front with the game in hand over West Ham. We play Man U. How can Big you? Big flobber. Uh -huh. oh, well, please swallow you. <laughs> See you, NT. Just a bit, Andrew. Great show, everyone, tonight. Pete Mason, everyone. Cheers, Lee. Great show. Cheers, show. Cheers Julie, as well. So, yeah. Bye, everyone, and take care. You as well, Julie. So, remember, guys, if you have enjoyed tonight's show, please do remember to... Hit the thumbs up. It does keep us up those search results on YouTube. Of course, please, if you are brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you really, really enjoy what goes on the channel week in, week out, please do hit that subscribe button. It is free to do so, and it does help make the channel grow as well. So please do smash that subscribe button to help continue this channel growing. And, of course, please, if you are brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you really, really enjoy what goes on this channel week in, week out, Hit that subscribe button, free to do so. It does help make the channel grow as well. Feel free to donate as well. And if you want to become a member for only just 99p a month, hit that join button. You'll be put into the next prize draw we do on this channel. We still haven't decided what it's going to be or what the prize will be just yet. But if that, but if you want to be with the chance of winning prizes, is your chance to become a member, and it's only for 99p a month. So you're. If I'm not your next show, Pete, it's because Celtic got beat at the week. <laughs> oh, Ian. It'll be a big game on Saturday, though. It'll be a really big game. What time is it? A lunch, is it an early kickoff on a Saturday, is it? Sunday. Oh, Sunday, is it? Take care, everyone. Away the lads, says Ronald. People just uh, uh, saying goodbye to each other as well. So, yeah. Hopefully we just get our win down at Craven Cottage, which we could really, really do with. And we could do with that win to keep us up going for the European spot come the end of the season. Get the three points. It's a team we can beat, Fulham. We've got a good record against them as of late, so let's keep this going. So, yeah, here we are. Jamie O'Hara, you cocky wanker. That's him now. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, 12, oh, it's 12 o'clock kickoff. They're normally 12 o'clock kickoffs, the old firms, aren't they? Aye. So there you are. But anyway, guys, as I mentioned, that is it for tonight. So until then, uh, me and Mason will catch you back on Sunday in terms of the next live show. Of course, I'm down there, so keep an eye for the quick thoughts after the game as well. Hopefully it's three points come the full-time whistle. So there you are, guys. So until next one, we'll see you all later, everyone. Good night, everyone. Take care. We're the lads. See you later, everyone. Take care all.